Welcome guys to another one of my videos. It's been a long time. Um, I haven't done um, videos in like three or four months. It's been a crazy time. I don't know if I mentioned it in one of the previous videos, but um, I'm actually getting married um, in a couple months here. Actually, a month and like a week, uh, July 11th, so that's why it's been kind of crazy. I haven't actually done much of any videos. Um, I haven't really collected that much. I mean, I've gotten games. Uh, a, a lot of games have been for my PC on Steam, so I wouldn't even show those off. Um, I did get, you know, a bunch, obviously, in the last three or four months of actual games for my old consoles and stuff. But, um, yeah, I haven't had the real time to actually do any videos and any of that stuff. Um, what I have been doing, though, and I just tested this, was the previous video a couple days ago, I think a week ago, was Twitch streaming. Um, it's fun to do, um, so I decided to start doing it on Twitch. Um, actually, today, I'm talking to you from um, a new microphone I got in the mail. Uh, everyone's probably already heard of this before, Snowball, Blue Snowball. I just got that in today, so this is actually the first test video. I'm using it to see how it works and see how it sounds, see what you guys think. So if anybody could leave comments, compared to my other videos, compared to this microphone, I'm actually using um, an actual Logitech C902 camera. Just when I do videos in here, usually I don't do videos in here, usually they're done in the basement on a different camcorder. But when I'm on the PC and I have things to unbox or something, this is what will probably be where I start doing it um, with this microphone and stuff so hopefully this sounds a little bit better and uh, the video quality is pretty good so this will be a first true test so today we're actually here to like I said my channel is going to be doing a bunch of different things I might do unboxings for technology stuff sometimes board games like before or video games um, you know or things I decide to talk about you know the usual that I've talked about so in this video we're actually going to do an unboxing and I haven't actually opened this yet I have it right here on the floor um, this is actually called Munch Pack. Now, a lot of the things have been people have been like going crazy over recently is subscription boxes. More popular ones that everyone's heard of is Nerd Block or Loot Crate. Those are the big two popular ones. This is actually one um, that I just found out about. I actually am subscribed to Loot Crate as well, so you guys might see some of those. But I actually just subscribed to this one called Munch Pack. This is my first one, and uh, Munch Pack. What it pretty much is is food which is great for everyone already so you get a bunch of food and um, you know you could choose the options of either getting it every two weeks or every month and there's different plans it starts at twenty dollars because it's usually thirteen plus seven dollars shipping for the medium box which is this one and then they have a family pack version um, that's thirty I believe after shipping and all that so I decided to start with this one and see how it is what they what makes this box interesting on top of the fact that you might get some U.S. food in here that everyone already knows, is you'll also get stuff international that you've never had before or might have not even heard before, which is what makes this actually interesting to get because you can't get this, you know, food everywhere. And um, also, they're going to let you, in two months now, I believe, um, they said in a couple of months you'll be able to go on the site and actually make some preferences. Right now, you know, if you didn't like chocolate or you didn't like um, spicy food, for example, or you wanted more international stuff as opposed to American stuff or vice versa, you can't do that. It's a random box every time you get it. Everyone's box is actually different every time they get it. So if me and you, subscri me and you subscribed, our boxes would be completely different even though they were shipped on the same day. So um, they're supposedly going to let you customize things now. So now, when you go in there in a couple months, you'll be able to say, hey, I don't like chocolate, don't send me chocolate stuff, I don't like spicy food, don't send me that. So, that will make things a whole lot better for me. I actually personally don't like chocolate very much. And uh, I do see that sometimes they add, obviously, a bunch of chocolate because that's a really popular thing. So, I'm not going to hold it against them. But, you know, um, lucky my girlfriend likes chocolate, so it will just go to her. So, uh, without further ado, let's uh, get into this. I've held you guys long enough. Let's uh, crack this open and see what comes in this box. So... Probably should use scissors every time I unbox, but it's alright. So like I said before, this is the medium box. Everyone always likes to ask when they go on the site if this is the family pack of the medium one. This is the medium one. They also actually also have a mini one, but that one I heard is going away. So this is the standard, standard one. So I got some newspaper right here at the top, so I'm going to take this out. So let's see what we got here. There is a bunch of stuff packed in here. So the first thing I see here is uh, it's definitely something I've never even heard or seen before because I've seen YouTube videos on this before. Called Parcel Mini Tackies. Um, definitely something spicy because it says Fuego on it. Sounds like it might be from Mexico probably because I hear they get a lot of uh, Mexico items in here. 
So this is interesting. Oh yeah, hot chili pepper lime. So let's put that close to the camera so you guys can see that. So that's the first item in here. Uh, I'm not a big fan of spicy food, but I mean, I'll try it for sure. Have some water next to me probably, but <laughs> I'd still try it out. Next thing we got in here, these are banging. This is, everyone knows, these are from the U.S. Sour Punch. These are the blue ones, blue raspberry. Um, so this will be good. Cherry's my favorite, but blue's not bad either. So everyone knows what that is. Everyone also knows what this is. These are banging. I love these things. TGI Friday's potato skins. So these are good. Cheddar and bacon. Um, gotta know what these are. If you don't, you need to go check these out. Next thing we got in here. These look good. Uh, cream cookies. Biscuits filled with vanilla ice cream. Uh, vanilla cream. Kind of reminds you probably of like vanilla wafers. Um, that's what they look like to me. I don't know if they taste the exact same. But that's what that looks like. Also got something in here called strawberry jam filled cookies. So that's what this is. Um, not much else in here. It's just one cookie strawberry jam filled cookies. So definitely be trying this out. This actually has no label. And it's from Japan. Or either Japan or China or something. Because there's a... Chinese writing on it, but it doesn't actually say anything on it. Well, it, it says it on the back, but it's all written in uh, stuff I obviously can't read. But it looks interesting. So we'll see how this tastes. I'm not sure what it is, but it definitely looks interesting. This I've never seen before either, but they look good. This is also from either Japan or China. Um, this looks like little like biscuits, crackers, little things. So this looks interesting. Um, this is probably something I'm going to end up liking unless if it's got some weird aftertaste, but they look good from the packaging. Like I said, no name on here. Well, a name again, but in a different language, so that's what that is. Next thing we got in here is fruit gummy candy. This is probably going to be banging. Again, this is from International. Um, it says apple, grape, and peach. So, there's that. This looks interesting. Um... Looks like little gummies, so this will definitely be fun to try. Well, I, I didn't even see half the stuff in here when I first opened up the box. Because actually, when I first got the box, I was like, oh, this looks a little small. But you know what? They actually pack a lot in here. Um, like I said, it's only a $13 box plus $7 shipping. So in reality, you're only paying $13 for everything I show you. Because obviously, they got to ship it to you. And there's quite a few more things in here, which were kind of hiding when I first opened up the box. So this is this is fun. Um, this is, I've actually seen these before, but I've never actually tried them. Um, they're little bears, and this one's actually, looks like it's filled with chocolate. So, this looks interesting as well. So we can try that out. I'm running out of room here on the desk. Next thing we got, everyone knows what these are. I'm excited that these are in the box, because everyone loves Twizzlers. So, those are good. Now, this is called, I'm not even sure how to pronounce this. Paraquinos might be what it says. It says, Dulce de Coco con Leche in Spanish. Um, yes, I can read Spanish. Um, so this looks interesting. It looks like some sort of uh, dessert. So let's put that up to the camera so you guys can see it. So this is interesting. Be interested to try that out. Now this I'm really excited to try out, and oh, this is perfect. They make these in all these flavor in a bunch of different flavors. And when I was watching the other YouTube videos, I see a lot of people get like apple and stuff. I was like, damn, I really hope that I get strawberry because, like I mentioned before, my favorite type of candy across the board of flavors is always strawberry. And these are really popular candy, supposedly in Japan, and they put them almost in every box now. And they're called Haichu. And look at that, I got lucky enough to get strawberry. So they either knew me really well or uh, I don't know I just got lucky apparently but um, I'm really excited to try these because everyone says these kind of taste like Starburst but better according to people so this will be fun to try out uh, next thing we got in here these will also be interesting these say fruit pasteles and these come in all different flavors it looks like so looks like grape orange strawberry so this will be interesting to try out as well Then we got uh, something called Drumstick. I've never seen nor heard of these before. But they sure look interesting to try out. That's cool. Then we got a random candy called Ricos Besos. All small candy like that. If you guys can see that. 
having a little problem focusing, but um, so yeah, just a little paint, some random candy like that, and the last thing that came in here, um, this will probably be the only thing I might not like out of this whole box. Everything else it looks like I'd probably like and eat. Um, everything looks interesting to try, but this might be the only one that might not fit me, because it's called um, Roasted Green Peas. And if it tastes anything like real green peas, which it obviously should, I'm not going to like these because I don't like green peas. I like vegetables, but green peas are my thing. I mean, I eat them if they're mixed into something, but not really a big fan of them too much. So, um, but yeah, they, I'd still try a couple to see how they taste, but if, like I said, if it tastes like green peas, this will be passed over to someone in the family. So, But either way, I mean, you guys saw, I mean, there's these. Let's go with the big stuff. You got those. You got these fruit candies. You got these chickpeas. You got the potato skins, sour patches, you got that dessert I mentioned, you got drumsticks, you got high chews, you got these fruit pastelis, you got this random piece of candy here, you got this uh, dessert thing, you got these jam filled cookies, you got this uh, interesting uh, thing that I first showed, you got these cream cookies. And you got these bears, all for all that for thirteen dollars, um, plus shipping. And uh, even if you take into the account that it's definitely more value than thirteen dollars, that's for sure. Um, but even twenty, I mean, I know for a fact that these are like usually when you get these in the store, they're like even at my job they have these, and they're like a dollar twenty-five out of a vending machine just for these. And uh, these are usually like three or four bucks on their own when you go walk into like a Pathmark or something. So. The value is definitely here. It's just a matter of, um, you know, obviously there could be hit or misses on months where if you don't like half the stuff in the box, then, you know, your value might decrease a little bit. But, like I said, everything in here looks like I would like it except for that last green piece thing, unless if I get surprised by it. So it's definitely a good value, and it's definitely, can, like I said, not only is it a good value, but it's also fun to go out there and try things that, you know, you can't get where you currently live. Like, I know one thing that a lot of people like that I can't wait to one day get in my box is ketchup chips. Uh, apparently those are really popular in Canada and some other states have them too. We don't have them here in Jersey. So that will be fun to try and hurt. They're amazing. So things like that will be the reason why you want to subscribe to this box. Just for the fact that, um, you know, you can eat things that you can't get where you're, where you're at. So that's why it's fun. And like I said, it's always random. So I ordered, I I'm sticking to the two week plan. I like to eat. So every two weeks I'll be getting a random box like this. So it would be fun every two weeks to open up a box that you're not sure what you're getting. So instead of me going to the store and buying snacks for, for me to eat, hopefully I can just rely on this. And every two weeks, you know, I get a full replenishment right to my door and I don't have to go out and buy at least snacks is covered. So that's fun. And uh, like I said, it's always random, so it's always going to be something interesting. Obviously, eventually you might get a duplicate of something, but... Uh, oh, you know what? And I also forgot that these random Twizzlers were in there too. Put those back in there. And like I said, th these right here are definitely like two or three bucks easy. So, um, and it's going to get even better, like I said, in a couple months. They're gonna be able to. Uh, you're gonna be able to go in there and tell them I don't like chocolate and I don't. I want more American food than I do outside food, and uh, you know, depending on how this all tastes and how the next couple months go, I can decide. You know, if I want more American stuff or more international stuff. So, depending on how all this stuff starts tasting and you know what I like and what I don't like. But um, yeah, guys, I like to thank you guys for watching this unboxing. Like I said, leave the comments below. Let me know how it sounds on the mic, and then uh, on this new blue snowball that I got. And uh, what you guys think of this. If you guys have any questions, you can leave them below. Like I said, sorry I've been MIA for so long. Hopefully I can get back into making videos sort of, um, you know, a little quicker. I know that I'll be doing some Twitch stuff on PC with um, my girlfriend, which is the first one you saw last week. We'll be doing some random co-op games and versus games like you saw in Dive Kick. We should be doing one soon on Towerfall, so look forward to that. And uh, hopefully it all works out well. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks.